The most common structural heart condition that we treat is called aortic stenosis. Traditionally, aortic stenosis was treated with open heart surgery, but with newer interventions, we can now treat this using catheter-based interventions. Aortic stenosis is narrowing of the aortic valve, which is the valve that leads out of the heart to the rest of the body. It limits the body's ability to augment blood flow and causes symptoms during activities. Most commonly, aortic stenosis is caused by just age-related changes, but there are congenital conditions that can bring about the onset in younger people as well. But usually in the 60s or 70s is when people start noticing symptoms. The most common symptom is shortness of breath, particularly on exertion, because the heart is unable to augment blood flow due to the, the narrowing of the valve. The treatment for aortic stenosis from a catheter point of view is a procedure called TAVR. We take a catheter going through the femoral artery usually up to the heart. This catheter is about the size of a pen and implant a new valve inside of the old valve. This valve is mounted inside of a stent and with a balloon inside of it, we expand that valve to full size and it holds in position there inside of the old valve. Patient selection for TAVR as opposed to surgical aortic valve replacement is somewhat nuanced and takes into a lot of different patient features uh, to decide which is the better treatment. Most people, uh, the best treatment is TAVR, but in some situations, uh, due to the patient's anatomy or age, uh, a surgical intervention may be preferred. Patients under 65 usually do better with surgical aortic valve replacement. However, there are always conditions for any age group where you may want to prefer one over the other. One of the great things about TAVR is most patients go home the next day after surgery. I would say about 90 to 95% of my patients go home the day after their TAVR um, and resume normal activities immediately. 